Hello friends, I am Dr. Sonika Krishan and I want to talk to you today about introduction to Ayurveda because uh, we must understand this is our holistic healing science. Uh, this is 5000 years old science and uh, passed on from the sages of India and now the we need to understand it very well. First of all about the word of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is Ayu and Veda. Ayu means life and Veda means knowledge or science. So Ayurveda is the science of life and uh, we should understand that Ayurveda is basically it is a, a Sukh Chikitsa. Now Sukh Chikitsa, Chikitsa means blissful health management. Uh, basically the science of Ayurveda, there are two parameters. One is Swastha Vritam. Swastha Vritam is holistic well-being. And the second one is uh, Atur Vritam. Atur Vritam is healing the disease of the diseased one. But the focus is on uh, you know, maintaining the well-being, the natural well-being of the individual that is Swastha Vritam taking care of the health of the healthy one and there is uh, in Ayurveda the concept of five basic elements the natural elements these are Akash, Vayu, Tejas, Jal and Prithvi. Now uh, we all know that Akash is the sky or the ether element uh, in our body uh, we can understand by the spaces, the empty spaces anywhere between the cells or in the uh, between the organs. So this is the Akash element and then uh, Vayu. Now Vayu is air. So any kind of movements that are going on in our body. That is the Vayu element and then Tejas is the fire. That is the uh, metabolic process in the body. And the fourth is Jal. Jal element is the water element, all the fluid uh, in the body that like the blood, the mucus, the plasma, saliva, so all this is Jal. Jal is water and then the fifth one is earth or the Prithvi element that is uh, the entire structure of our body. So the uh, Ayurveda follows the concept of the five natural elements and then uh, it details about the three doshas. Oh, the three doshas, they are actually the backbone of the entire Ayurveda philosophy. Now the three doshas are, one is Vata dosha. Vata dosha is the air body humor and this is believed to comprise of the ether or the sky element and the air element and then uh, it is the entire uh, movement in the body uh, represents the vata element or uh, vata body humor. Now the second dosha or the body humor is pitta dosha. Pitta is fire so uh, metabolism the entire met metabolism in the body represents the pitta element and the third one is the phlegm, phlegm is kapha dosha or phlegm body humor and it uh, is believed to be formed from the basic elements of water and earth and then uh, it represents the structure of the human body. Now when we understand about the three doshas Actually, Ayurveda is a distinctive therapy. Uh, basically, the distinction lies because in Ayurveda we consider that the ailment has to be removed from its roots. The ailment has to be uprooted and then no new ailment should arise in the process. This is also always taken into consideration. And then, about uh, uh, the distinction of Ayurveda therapy, holistic healing science, I would uh, want to tell you that one is the medicine, the Ayurvedic medicine is always 
centered on the patient. It is not that the medicine is being centered on the disease or the system, body system. So, and the second part is that herbs and natural elements, they are always used in the providing relief to the diseased person. And of course, uh, it's a complete holistic healing science. So, taking care of the uh, mind, body and spirit is considered as a main consideration in Ayurveda. So, uh, actually, uh, you need to understand that in Ayurveda, it uses herbs and herbal mineral uh, formulations as the medicines and uh, it is always uh, because it is holistic healing. So, um, many times in you know, the herbs and natural home remedies are ascertained in this uh, Ayurveda pathy or the therapy. Like uh, many times you would be uh, made to understand the usage of Tulsi or holy basil because this is wonderful for uh, you know uh, if you have to combat the problems of fever or respiratory disease or uh, you can be uh, uh, recommended taking of turmeric or the uh, haridra or haldi because this is a wonderful natural antibiotic and anti-inflammatory drug or in case of uh, you have to get rid of your uh, body and mind physique uh, fatigue basically the problem when a lot of stress is building in your system so at that time ashwagandha is another herb that is the drug of choice in Ayurveda and similarly many others like neem in, in case you have to take up some uh, anti-toxic remedies or anti uh, malarial drugs so like there's many others but then uh, there is uh, another thing we should understand that there are some rasayanas mentioned in Ayurveda they take care they provide uh, anti-aging therapies now rasayanas are the drugs that can be taken for long periods of time like one uh, that is very commonly known that is Chavan Prash. So it was the sage Chavan, he uh, manufactured, he came out with this formulation of Chavan Prasha. And it is uh, mentioned that when this sage took this uh, dasayana of Chavan Prasha, so uh, he, from his old age, he could uh, gain back his youth. So that is why it is wonderful. And also, uh, there are uh, Panchakarma detox therapies well provided in Ayurveda the science of healing so Panchakarma they are uh, Vaman, Virechana, then Nasya, then uh, Niruhan Vasti and Anuvasan Vasti so these are five therapies or actions that are provided to basically cleanse your system your entire body and the ama or the toxic matter that has accumulated in your body that is removed and that is how uh, there is overalling of your uh, agony. So friends, please understand about Ayurveda, the basis is that uh, it is complete focus is provided either you are already healthy and you want to restore your wellness or in the other case, uh, it could be that you are suffering from some disease. In both these cases, the entire focus is on uh, providing the diet and lifestyle modifications according to your dosha you should understand first identify your dosha that are you a vata type pitta type or kapha type this will be a big help and then you should then the you know the Ayurveda physician or in Ayurveda therapy uh, you are made to understand about what kind of uh, diet and what kind of a lifestyle is actually suitable for you so uh, balance is the key in Ayurveda. In Ayurveda is believed uh, there is a one shiloka that is dosh, uh, dhatu, mal, molam, hi, shariram. That is the three doshas, vata, pita and kapha. Dhatus, there are seven dhatus or the 
बॉडी टिश्यूज रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि मज्जा एंड शुक्र एंड द मल मल आर द बॉडी वेस्ट सो इट इज रिगार्डेड दैट द दीज थ्री दे मेकअप द एंटायर बॉडी दे आर द रूट्स ऑफ द बॉडी एंड दे इज अनादर श्लोक आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू अवर दैट दैट इन आयुर्वेदा दिस इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ हेल्थ दैट सम दोषा सम धातु सम अग्नि मल क्रिय प्रसन्न आत्मा इंद्रिय मना स्वस्थ इतिबतीयते दिस टेल्स अस दैट सम धात दोषा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल योर दोषास हैव टू बी बैलेंस्ड वातपिता एंड कफा इफ दे आर बैलेंस्ड सम धातु द सेवन टिश्यूज रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि मज्जा एंड शुक्र और all these seven uh, tissues if they are balanced in the body and then uh, some dosha some dhatu some agni or agni or the gastric fire this is balanced this is not less or not overworked this is also in a state of balance uh, some dosha some dhatu some agni mal kriye your mal or the body waste they are big removed or eradicated from your body on natural basis prasann atma indriya and mana prasann means then the happy state the atma that is your spirit indriya the five body senses the five senses uh, these are shabd sparsh roop ras and gandh these are the five senses they have to be also in the state of prasann they should be happy and also mana mana is your mind swastha itti vidyati so only then you can be uh, regarded as a completely healthy individual and of course like ayurveda uh, i just introduced you to the ayurveda uh, philosophy today and then there is so much the entire uh, i mean the whatever i just told you about uh, entire focus is to maintain or restore your health and maintain the health of a healthy individual so friends it was really nice talking to you i hope you like the video uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can write an email to me at sonikakrishna@gmail.com and if you want you can visit my website that is drsonikakrishna.com thank you friends